How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzzy. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It's the day of another day of another day that we call Friday. It would have been said, what's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe. And it's where we're living in, knocking down doors and making your dreams come true and practicing ignore. Now, it is hot today and stuff, and um, I'm not being at my home, but um, I want to talk to you about something now. This is a reference to like the girls like me and stuff, two spirit women. And the thing is, I noticed something that constantly happens um, with me with a lot of guys um it's hot a lot of guys with me and stuff like that a lot of guys just come to me and talk okay i'll give you an idea what happened this happened to me a few times i'm going to talk to my sisters and reference to you know have this happen to you or anyone that want to chime in you know give you a story this thing i love a comment on someone's page and it was a two-spirit woman and I said, I said, you're very beautiful. So I'm always encouraging my sister stuff like that to, you know, to stay forward and, you know, to fight and stand her truth. But, you know, I'm always trying to encourage her because I understand the journey she goes through. I understand her struggles. I understand her convictions. I understand that today may not look, today not be a day that she looks more femme than others. And, and I get it because I go through the challenges, walking out the door, with it going to receive it love or a lot of hate. Will we make it back home? A lot of negative things that may happen. Um, that may happen to something that may, no, that's just my opinion. A lot of girls may not go through anything that I go through. But the thing is, this happened to me on two occasions. This happened to me online and also happened to me in person. I left a comment and saying, I called her, my sister, and I said, oh, you're very beautiful, my sister. You're a very beautiful woman. And the guy said, that's not a woman, that's a man. Now, this has happened to me tons of times. And the thing is, it happened to me when I was um, downtown, when I got out of school, and um, I saw this girl walking by and stuff. I saw, I knew there was, there was, I knew there was two spirits, and I saw them walking by. I didn't say anything to them because I don't really walk up to the girls. You know what I mean? Because then the world we live in, it's, it's so sad, but it's just real. And I didn't know if they knew who I was. Or, you know, I don't, I don't do surveys. <laughs> I'm on my own business. So. I saw them walk on everything, and this other girl that was with me with school, she's like, oh, they just saw them things. And I'm like, like, really? And the thing is, I'm like, don't you know what I am? You know, I'm one of those things that you talk about. I'm, I'm that, that's a man, like you said with her, that's what I am. If that's what you want to call us. And at the end of the day, I'm offended because at the end of the day, if she's telling her truth, why do you come with your pad and pen and, you know, and judging and stuff? And I feel as though it's really fucked up how a lot of them sit among us and yet still we walk out the room, they talk about us like a fucking dog. You know, they give their friends the thumbs up before we show up to the party, the thumbs up before we get in the car, the thumbs up before you, we go to any places with people to let them know exactly who we are. And we walk through the door, we kind of know when you've been talking about us and give people the thumbs up on us. But at the end of the day, a lot of you women um, and, and guys is not being fair and not being fruitful with your conviction when you sit back and tell the story about who that person is. You love to tell the story about how much you're a fucking whore or you may be getting it fucked in the butt. But at the end of the day, you want to sit back and put us on the spot. But anyway, so it's, it's just difficult to me sometimes because I always get the and it's funny because I don't feel like I'm passive at all. And I always, I always make me clench when someone doesn't catch on to me. It also makes me clench when somebody says her. I know it shouldn't. I get it. That's your still line. But I'm telling you how I feel. To me, myself, I still feel like I look like a big... <laughs> I still feel like I look like a big... <laughs> I still feel like a little old pro, please don't start. I still feel like I'm like a big man. <laughs> so it's difficult for me sometimes when people give me, you know, saying girl and stuff, and then I had a girl um, that 
that told me that in my music school that this guy was talking about me. He said that I was a man. And she came to me and she said, baby, this motherfucker trying to say you a fucking man. And she was upset. She was ready to fight. And I was like, oh, sweetie. And I didn't say anything, but it made me aware of him, what he was doing behind my back. And he greeted me with a smile. But when I walked away, you know, he basically said that about I would have never known. Then I met the Spanish guy who needed my help, and I was doing his resume and stuff to help him and stuff like that. But he did not want to speak to me in the classroom, but he gave me his phone number, and that's what I was doing. And it amazes me because it was like, if somebody's saying that it's true, why do you judge? And it's so amazing because I noticed that everybody who judge us and talk about us like a dog, they don't like to be judged. And they want to make jokes, they want to make memes, they have all this extra shit they want to say, but at the end of the day, they don't want to be judged. You know, and the thing, it, it amazes me. I got some more hate mail on kick and stuff. A guy told me, once again, he's going to, um, he's going to kill me. It's from Louis Reporto, and this is what they said. You're a dead bitch walking. T tick tack tick tock tick tock you black nigger I got a machete with their name on it I blocked them 1028 AM <laughs> So whoever you are you probably on this channel the police will be coming there soon sweetie because I reported right in it because for some reason I don't know what's going on in the internet but this is do you want to report this to the law enforcement and I was like yeah so by the end of the day, they got to check in your account. So if that follows through as well, I'm going to let y'all know how that goes. Well, the cops constantly let me know about the person, you know, harassing me, telling me they want to kill me as usual. Everybody wants to kill Raven. I'm always getting threats about my life. They want to murder me and all this extra shit. And I find it to be amazing and stuff like that. But as you see, I'm not bothered. Maybe I should be bothered, but I'm not bothered. And I find it be amazing because I can't understand how somebody can take out so much time, you know, just to hurt somebody and basically, you know. But always give me heads up. And the reason why I think, I, I'm not going to say what I think it is because they probably watch this channel. And for some reason, I, I get it. I did a video reference to another guy on Instagram and stuff. His name is Okay, Bank and that little video will be today. I dropped names, Raven Online. Hate exposed. Let's press this mm -hmm. session. Ebanks 29, you ugly. I said, okay. At 7.43 a.m., you mad baby, don't cry. Look at you, though. Hell no, you a man, though. You trying to be a bitch. Sit down. You see me talking to you. Um, let me see. You see me talking to you. You see me talking to you. Now, let me go to his profile. Cause I wanna see, you know, this is what we do since we spent all this time and here it is. Now this is the dude right here. He's sending me all this hate and stuff. You know, I have no idea who this man is. But he decided that he wants to send me all this hate into my box as far as giving me hate and stuff. Now remind you, I have no idea who this guy is, but clearly he has a problem with me. I did a video about him, how he was attacking me and telling me I was a man of extra shit. And I went on his page, he had all trans women on his page. I don't know what video that was, but I think I put it called, I think it's called Exposed, something I normally don't do. And I put his pictures and everything up there. And he hit me up again um, this week. And it made me him who wanted to kick because I blocked him so I saw all with him. And I did the new YouTube page and stuff, you know, Raven over on YouTube. And I put the new link up on you. Instagram because I blocked him on my other page and I didn't block him on this one because I wasn't even thinking about him but clearly he's still watching me so he may be watching this video as well and it amazes me because his hatred towards the girls like me or should I just say me because he has a bunch of girls like me on his page and I always feel as though we always have a conversation with our killer and just don't know it a lot of times people sit up in and, and wear the smile on their face and let us know that they're basically for us and they're actually against us. And I just find it amazing. That's why I feel as though everything about me is the way it's supposed to be only because of my anger issues and stuff. So when someone comes upon me, I'm going to be ready because I'm already, I don't want to say that. But. Anyway, 
I just want to share this with you. Have you ever had that experience when someone wants to share a story about I'm another trans woman or gay guy and stuff and they don't even know what you are but yet so they're sharing the story. I put that person down but at the end of the day they don't even know that's what you was. And the thing was they didn't know I was too serious because I thought it'd be amazing because I know I can tell every time I look in the mirror. Like, What's up, bro? It's like, let me stop. But anyway, I love you feedback and it's like a simple to subscribe to my channel. And, um, I want to get a boyfriend, but I'm still scared. I'm sorry. I'm still a punk. Because I'm scared. He's going to be waiting for me to go to sleep. It's not funny. He's going to wait for me to go to sleep. He's like, you sleep, bro? And you're going to start trying to kill me. I know it. I know. I'm still traumatized. I just don't trust him. And it's funny because I love him so fucking much. How could you love something so much and so afraid of it? Anyway, the best said, I love your feedback in this. I'm watching your comments at the bottom. Like I said before, it's front of my channel. I just tap this Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. I'll let you know I love you. And please leave this comments at the bottom. And let's say I love you. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain. All right, now. Come on, people. Let's go on Instagram. Like I said before, if you have a story me to cover, please email me at ravenover at yahoo.com. I know you like putting the stories down in the comment section, but please send it to ravenover at yahoo.com. And I also know that you like putting it on Instagram, but please send it to ravenover at yahoo.com. At the top, guess what? This Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. What do you mean you don't want to? Oh, come on, man. Scrub to my channel. What do you mean you don't want to scrub to my channel? Scrub <laughs> to my channel. What do you mean you don't want to scrub to my channel? <laughs> Love you. Love you.